a bit of a sort of a um, I'm going to label this up as a sort of technical pickup video, but but um, 66% of it is no, 75% of it is going to be about technical pickups, and and 25% of it is going to be about a game pickup, an actual um, a game itself. So I'll start off with a game. Um, I've already got this game for the Japanese Xbox 360, but I uh, decided last week to buy it for the PlayStation 3. I wanted it for my PlayStation 3 or one of my PlayStation 3s that is in my Sega Limburg cabinet. And it's uh, Under Defeat HD, uh, Dulux Edition. So this is a PAL release. Um, at the time when I was looking to get the Xbox 360, I could have got the PlayStation 3 version as well, but it was it was dearer than the 360 version, I think. Um, something like 60, well, it's probably dearer than that. I think I paid 60 pounds for the uh, Jack 360 version, and this was dearer. Uh, the PlayStation 3 version on import at the time hadn't come out in the UK. This is the UK version. Came out, I think it was sometime in November. It's on Amazon at the moment for 12 quid. So, um, unbelievable price really, and I thought for £12, I'll wait till it comes out in the UK anyway and I'll get it for the PlayStation 3 because they're multi-region. And, um, and yes, yeah, so I picked it up, £12, get it, I mean it, it, it's a no-brainer for 12 quid, even if you've got the, uh, the Dreamcast version and you don't like the HD version, but for me it's great because I could play the HD version on my HD cab, so that was a good game purchase in my opinion for £12. Um, so onto the, onto the sort of technical pickups. Over the past, I suppose, three to four months really, I've been collecting various uh, bits of hardware around the PC Engine uh, series of, um, uh, of consoles, and a number of those have been CD um, uh, variations uh, of the PC Engine. Um, I've still got another PC Engine pickup video to do on an item of, of hardware, well two items of hardware. Um, I won't say anything about that because I don't want to spoil it, I'll wait until I actually do the video and I'll try and get that done fairly rapidly. I was actually going to do a Neo Geo AES video this time, for this video, but decided against it so I'll come back to that, but but yeah as per years I've got videos stacking up. Um, so right, technical pickups, well something that that a number of you guys will be aware of, I'm sure, is that the CD-based consoles, um, uh, some of them can tend to have issues with the uh, CD lenses. They'll stop reading discs or, or they intermittently stop or start reading discs. So I decided for all of my prestige consoles, as regards to the ones that I think, right, I actually want to make sure I've got some spares for this stuff in case things go tits up, I've started buying some replacement lasers. And I bought three replacement lasers over the past few months for various consoles. So if I start off, and what I'll do, I'll tell you what the lasers are, what the serial numbers are. So if you want to get them, these have been, all been bought off, off eBay. Uh, they're not particularly expensive. They are available at the moment, but at some point in the future they will stop being available. So if you've got any of these consoles, it's worth getting a spare laser, um, in my opinion. And the first one is uh, something called a Hop M3 laser. A little box there, and 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 effectively, what you get with these kits is a replacement lens. You don't get the whole the whole CD carrier and the lens. You just get the lens. And basically, it looks like that. For people that don't know, it's just a little bag with a little well, a little, they're fairly big, but the actual lens unit. And effectively, you swap that out with the one that you're replacing that you've got problems with. Now, the Hop M3 uh, lenses are ones that are used in the. No, I've got to get this right now. These are the ones that are used in the Duo Rs. So, if you've got a Duo R, then you need a Hop M3 lens. This was from, I think this was from America. Um, and you get it from China and so forth. I couldn't find anywhere in the UK that sold them, but uh, I think that was something like about 18, 18 pound it worked out at, uh, delivered, and it was good delivery, uh, fast delivery. 
Now this one I did actually buy in the UK, and and this lens is, and I'm going to see, what I, it's KSS two one zero A, KSS two one zero A. What I'll do, I'll put all these in the comments of the video, so at least you can refer to them if you if you need to buy one. Uh, this lens will fit the uh, Super CD-ROM 2, uh, the PC Engine Super CD-ROM 2, and also the Mega Drive CD2. So if you've got either one of those consoles and you're worried about your lens or whether you get a replacement or whatever, you need a KSS 210A lens. And again, that looks no... Well, it looks slightly different to my lens, but as regards to a lens, a lens is a lens. You know, as regards to me showing it, there's no point in me showing it to you. And the final lens is a H8147AF. This one is for, I mean, brain's gone blank now. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, this is the recent one that I've bought. This was from, um, I think I bought this from, I bought this from America? Can't think, it wasn't the UK. But this was recently I bought this one, uh, and it delivered last week, I think. Uh, this is the lens for a, a Neo Geo uh, top loading CD. Mine is starting to wear slightly. I'm getting a couple of issues with it. Um, so I'll effectively wait until it dies completely. I don't use it that much to be honest. So I will probably never get around to fitting this lens because I don't play it enough. But, uh, but occasionally there's some glitches. Um, it, it, it's... Um, and that's with original games, uh, that's not copy games, they're original games. Uh, there are some glitches with it, so I need to swap that out at some point. So, those are, those are the three lenses really. Um, uh, like I said, they are, um, they are fairly widely available uh, at the moment. Um, uh, most of them you have to go outside the UK to buy them, so if you're in the, if you're in the UK you're going to have to do, a, do an eBay transaction with uh, someone in America or China or Hong Kong. Um, I've had a mix and match of where I've bought my stuff from and I've never had an issue at all to be honest, stuff's delivered and, and, and they're fairly cheap, I mean, you know, each lens is costing, I, I suspect delivered, you're talking an average of about £15 a lens, so there's probably about 45 quid worth of lenses there, but, but I'll keep them, I won't bother putting them in unless I get a real major issue that I can't tweak by tweaking the pots or whatever, because obviously I don't want to use them unless I really, really, really have to, but they are fairly simple to swap over. So. Uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll speak to you again soon.